video is about the medical insurance that our parents have enrolled as retired BEL employees. You are all aware that the enhanced new rates took effect from the 1st of April 2016. The main difference between the old scheme and the new one is that the old scheme had individual limits. Meaning, for example, if the father had 85,000 and mother also had 85,000 rupees, it was deducted individually as per the case. Meaning sometimes, if the father is hospitalized more times, his part of the insurance is used up fast. In other words, not swappable. Whereas, the new scheme has a family floater meaning the new limits of 2,70,000 rupees for non-executives and varying amounts for executives are shared by both or either. The link to access BEL website is given below. You just have to go here. Retired BEL employees. Here you will find the procedure for enhancement of insurance coverage in BEL retired employees health scheme. Now the details are like this, for non-executives the new rates are 2,70,000 rupees floating, category 2 TC E1 to E4 executives 4 lakh rupees floating, category 1 E5 and above 5,60,000 rupees floating. Now all the members who wish to enhance the sum have already paid by DD 8,500 or 12,000 or 17,000 as per the table above. Now let us see how to check if you have actually paid. In the same BEL website, if you go to the list of employees remitted DD for coverage under option D under B Bharat Electronics Retired Employees Health Scheme, you can find a PDF. If you download the PDF, you can just scroll down put control F, look for the name of your parent, the father or the mother and you will see the payment details whether it's been paid or not. Now that this part of it is over, now we have to go to the United Healthcare website. You have Now that you are sure payment has been received, the next step is to go to talk to Sri Saroj, the representative of United Healthcare. He has very kindly accepted to share his number and email ID to help all BEL employees. His mobile number is 093-79-188-983. His email ID is saroj.swain at uhcpindia.com. You should mail him your email ID and your parents BEL staff number. You have to email your ID and your parents BEL staff number. Remember your email ID is important and the parents BEL staff number is important. Two mails will be sent to you. The first one is a mail. The first one is a mail with the login details. There will be a username like this. Mine was BHAR1526. The next one will be the new password link. Now when you go to that po point in time in your mail, you have to click here. It will lead to a new window where you have the option to put your new password and also uh, uh, confirm your password. Now here you have to remember that your password should be at least 8 digits long. It should have one capital alpha one special character and non-consecutive numbers. Now you are ready to log on to UHC website where you will find a host of details which I shall enunciate step by step. Now this will be the United Health India India website. You have to click on My UHCI. When you click on My UHCI, you will get the login type, username, password and a captcha code. Your username has already come by mail and your password is actually what is chosen by you as I have explained previously. When you enter the CAPTCHA code and press this login, you will be going to the now actual UHC website. Now this is the layout of the United Healthcare Parekh website. Now here you can see welcome Gurunathan. 
here is the main this thing now here you got three options id card claims slash cashless status and claims intimation if you press identity card you will get options for identity card status for employee 1526 gurunathan vijayalakshmi if you press print i card you will get the i card you can print your i card you can print the i card of your uh, parent i'll log in again and explain Now I have logged in again. If you press identity card, you can print the identity card of your parent. Otherwise, you can go to the other sessions. Now here there is one claims bar cashless status. If you go to the claims or cashless status, you have got all the details of your parents. First, I will make the selection here. Gurunathan M, my father. Here you can see the policy status from uh, from uh, this uh, 2013, first of April 2013 to 31-3-2014 and also from 1-4-2015 to 31-3-2016. Now do not bother, in the next one week or so, I have been assured that from 1-4-2016 also, whatever insurance claims have been done will be updated shortly now let us uh, just go through this in a bit of detail now in in this case my father was hospitalized twice as it can be seen here for the first time for 15,441 rupees which was cashless the second time 5,853 rupees that was also cashless now for the first one first uh, the, uh, uh, case where it was 5,853 the LOC or letter of credit was given for 7650 and for the second case it was given for 14300. Now let us just see what is there in the letter of credit. Now this letter of credit which was given by UHC to the hospital is very uh, uh, is very clear that they have paid they are ready to pay certain amount to the uh, uh, hospital now the claim amount was 14000 rupees the authorization amount was 40, 14300 rupees it was paid to vikram hospitals on that particular date that is 22nd may 2015 at 11 uh, 6 11 pm so this is the way you can view your status and uh, you can have all the data at in your hands now the second case was given for Ketham's hospital for an amount of uh, 7650. Now the importance of this is if at all it is rejected also there is a rejected uh, column where they will give the information. Now here there is a URL 88794LOCP15. Now when you press this you will get detailed inquiries, detailed uh, uh, data about that particular uh, claim also. Now, if you if you take the case of my mother, Vijay Lakshmi, and then submit, you can see the status of two uh, claims which were made. Now, the latest one was done on 5/4/2016, where my mother has operated upon. I will just show you that. You will get a very detailed letter of credit, letter of credit addressed to the hospital, Manipal Northside Hospital, for a sum of one lakh. 1112 the claim amount for us for 1 lakh 1808 the deduction amount of non-medical expenses which are not reimbursable is 1780 so a claim of 100112 is settled now the disallowed amount with reason is also given here 
1786 reason for disallowance is non medical charges admission discharge procedure luxury tax not payable taxes etc and the important instructions are given here so you this is basically a nice way of having everything in your fingertips now when you when you go for uh, this uh, 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 website you will have all the details of your claims at your fingertips and it will help you a lot in finding out the claims now uh, you can also intimate claims here you can intimate your claim here you can print your identity card you can search for your hospital network here I will just show here the hospital network is insurance company the hospital name say MS MS Ramaya you just have to search you will get the network hospitals MS Ramaya Narayana Rudalaya Heart Center and uh, you will get where it is which state it is what are the contact numbers and such other details so it is basically a very nice way a very happy and easy way of finding out the status of your uh, parents uh, health also now uh, I can go in detail and show you about the identity card also but this is, it is telling us expired anyway I will log in again and try to give you the details let me just wait Yeah, I have logged in now. Let me check up if the identity card is printable. Now it is still coming as session expired. You can try at your place. You can you can print the identity card of your parents also, and uh, you can do a lot of uh, 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 print out and other things. You can just take out uh, print outs and other things. So if you the claims, whatever is the claim, what are the bank employee code, all these things are given. This is a very very nice way of uh, you know uh, keeping track of your parents' uh, insurance uh, forms. That's all for now. Bye. Take care.